so hi everyone we are back with another tutorial on model context protocol and this time we are connecting jupyter notebooks to cloud ai so that you can directly code into jupyter notebooks without coming to jupyter lab so let's get started so first of all i will be showing you the entire demonstration this is the notebook that i have connected with cloud ai that is abc.ipynb right now as you can see it's empty but soon it won't be so let's go to cloud ai here you can see that under the hammer sign there are two tools that has been given under this particular mcp that is to add execute code cell that means add a cell and execute it and add a markdown cell in jupyter so we'll try out both and let's see how it works add a jupyter cell and execute for adding up four python numbers a b c d and then print the output as well let's hit enter as you can see cloud it started working now it will first of all take some permissions from us allow for this chat this is the function that it would be writing the code has been executed successfully i have defined four variables let's go back and check and here you can see that cloud has actually added code and executed as well now let me try adding a markdown cell as well add a markdown cell and define what this function do in that so we are just testing out we are not testing out its intelligence but whether the mcp works or not so now i have added for a markdown cell to add the definition allow for this chat again i have added a markdown cell that explains what the code does now let's go back to it and here you can see that a markdown has also been added so this looks quite sleek, very easy to use, quite fast as well, and can be a game changer for data scientists and data analysts. So now I'll be explaining you how this particular MCP can be connected to Cloud A. There is a number of steps that you need to follow up. So first of all, we would be going to the data layer, Jupyter MCP server. This is the uh, MCP server that I'm using. So first of all, you need to get started with tip installing these three packages that is jupyter lab jupyter collaboration and ipy kernel right next you need to start your jupyter lab with this particular code jupyter lab port 8888 identity provide dot token my token i'll be telling you what that token would be and ip is localhost so how to get this particular my token you need to run this particular command as you can see jupyter server list once you have executed that particular command you need to mention this Jupyter server list. So there are two servers for me. One is localhost, other is MSI, and this is a token associated with them, right? So once you are done, you need to pass this particular command and run and start the Jupyter lab using that. Once you are done, once you are able to pip install these three packages and alongside you are able to run this particular command as well with your token, your notebook should be up like this for me, like ABC notebook is present. Now we would be going to adjust our config. If you don't know how to open this config, I've already explained in my previous videos how to open it. It's quite easy. You need to go to cloud, go on top left, go to files, settings, developer and edit config. It will open up a JSON file for you. And this is the JSON file that I'm talking about. Now here you can see that we have added multiple things. One important point to note is that you need to have Docker installed and running in your system to use this mcp so that is why because this particular mcp runs with docker apart from that you need to provide this full path if you are using windows do remember that this particular command is present on the git repo data layer jupyter mcp server you can take it from there run minus i rm server url is given token notebook path and then this is the data layer jupyter mcp server that is the server name now in the environment path we are providing server url this is constant. You don't need to change anything. Take it directly from data layer GitHub repo. Notebook path you need to provide that should be relative. So from wherever location you are starting off, you need to provide a relative part for the, your notebook. As I'm starting off from where I have started the Jupyter notebook itself. That is why the path has just abc.ipynb. If you are using this notebook inside some folder, provide that prefix as well. And then I'm passing the token also. Right. Once you are done, you need to as you must be knowing now go to task manager and close your cloud completely relaunch it and you should be able to see the two commands present that will help you to code in jupyter notebooks now 
I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Uh, once I will be showing you the config from where to copy it. As you can see, for Mac OS and Windows, this is the config they're mentioning. Here you need to provide a token. There is a notebook path. You don't need to change the server URL, not required for that. And nothing else has to be changed here. If you're using Windows, you need to provide the full path for Docker to remember this. With this, it's a wrap. I hope you try out Jupyter MCP server. Thank you.